Hello everyone, welcome to part 10 of Laravel Eleven series in which we are creating the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB. And in this video, we are going to integrate the Remember Me functionality, okay, for admin login page. Though this Remember Me functionality, you can able to integrate in any Laravel form after this video, okay. So, uh, we will use cookies to implement a Remember Me functionality for the admin login form uh, by which we are able to store the user email and password for a longer time in the browser cache that can be assessed anywhere okay so uh, let's start working on this thing so this is the email and password fields and uh, so uh, see uh, this is the remember me checkbox and once the user clicks on this one once the user fills admin uh, see username and password and will check this one then it will remember this username and password for a longer time so we are going to save these both this email as well as the password in the browser cookies okay so there are the cookies stored somewhere in the browser okay that we use to delete these cookies uh, by clicking uh, control shift delete or command shift delete in mac like uh, command shift lead like uh, we can able to lead those cookies or uh, from here also we can able to lead these cookies uh, like uh, we can able to uh, here is the option of leading the cookies as well uh, see you can see clear browsing data clear history cookies cache and more so this is the way to clear the cookies so once we clear the cookies then it will not remember it anymore then you need to save it once again okay and there is a specific time it will save it for the specific time that we are going to set in our uh, code okay so let's start working on this one remember me functionality uh, so first of all uh, we will add here uh, its id name in this checkbox so uh, so i'm going to close the file and we'll open once again login.blade.php file and here I will see the remember me uh, checkbox so I will also add here the name uh, remember okay it will come here the uh, remember and after adding the name so once the user check this one uh, then uh, we are going to modify the login function and here see after the auth guard admin check is passed after that uh, we are going to check like uh, if the remember uh, that checkbox is uh, value is empty or not okay so we are going to see like the value is coming from there is empty or not like if uh, the use the admin check this one then sign in uh, sorry here i think we need to refresh it once uh, let's check once again remember me then click on sign in and here you can see the remember is on so the value will come if the admin checks that and the if the admin will not check then the no value will come even the remember uh, will not come here as well okay so uh, what we are going to do with this check we are going to see if the check is there then we are going to save the username and email in cookies otherwise we will not save at all okay so here uh, if not empty we will add the condition here if not empty here uh, it is coming in dollar post and what is the name remember is the name of our checkbox okay and if the value is there means uh, that is coming like uh, on okay then we are going to set the cookie and here we are going to set the cookie for email first of all and that email is coming here as a dollar underscore post email email field and we are going to set its time uh, for uh, 3600 seconds that is the standard time for one hour so it means that it is set for 60 minutes or one hour or 3600 seconds we are going to set the cookie for email as well as we are going to set the cookies uh, for a password as well okay so I'm going to add here sorry I'm going to add here for the password as well here i'm going to add the password password will also save for 3600 seconds that is for one hour okay so here is 
uh, we will add in comment here cookies set successfully here we are going to edit this one and else if that checkbox is not checked by the admin then uh, we are going to reset the cookies okay we are going to delete the cookies okay cookies not set okay here uh, we will simply set cookie uh, we will make it empty email we will make it empty as well as same thing we will do with the password as well okay fine and now after that so uh here so here uh here also we are going to modify here okay uh, uh we are going to show the username password field username and, and password if the remember me checkbox is checked okay and for that uh here we are going to add here state of if is set dollar underscore cookie uh, email okay and then we are going to uh, show its value i'm going to copy this one that we are going to get from the cookies cookie email okay like this and the yeah, and if now we can also make it like uh, the same thing we are going to add for password as well let's see if we able to save it or not okay so i will click on remember me and then click on sign in and this time the it must get saved in the cookies let's see let's log out and see that if we uh, able to save it or not okay uh, i'm going to click on log out now and here you can see it is saved okay so now uh, i'm not going to click on remember me now okay this time i am not going to click on remember me and we'll click on sign in and then uh, we'll log out then it will not save uh, then it must not come it is uh, coming from some other plugin and uh, that i think i will remove that plugin to check it okay so to test it properly i'm going to insert one more admin record okay so here you can see that we have uh, one admin record is already there but that is already saved in the browser uh, plugins okay so i'm going to add one more record and uh, that i am al already having the admin uh, seeder here okay so here i'm going to add going to insert one more like admin one at the rate of admin.com okay with password one two three four five six and i will try to insert it like uh, i'm going to run that uh, xamp st docs uh, my project folder with the here it is project 11 uh, it is project 11 right click services new terminal at folder php artisan db seed php artisan db seed let's see yes i think we able to insert let's refresh this one yes another code has come up now i will uh, try to log in with admin one at the rate of admin.com but i'm not going to save it okay first i will just try it like this yes i able to log in now see don't add it in any of your uh, software any of your add-ons okay so i will not add it so it will not save it as well okay so now i'm going to save it like admin one and we'll click on remember me okay so i'm going to check the remember me here so only i will click on remember me i will not do anything else i will not save it in browser plugins okay so here once again it will ask but i will not save it anywhere 
I will just save it in cookies uh, with the remember me to test the functionality and will click on logout. Then it must be there only. Let's see. Yes, it must. It is there only and you can see it is already filled in because we have uh, checked that remember me. So, so that's why it is already filled in. And one more thing we can do here like uh, uh, we can make it uh, we can make it clicked like if uh, uh, the value is coming okay if there is the email is there then we can uh, show it uh, its value as checked in okay so here like this one then we can show it like checked and it so that the value will be shown here like this one okay so remember me is checked already checked because uh, it is the values are auto filled with this remember me okay uh, now you can see sign in and once again we can check here and we can log in log out here and you can see the entry is already filled okay so now I will uncheck this one and will sign in then this entry will go away then you are not going to see this entry once again admin one I am talking about the admin one entry that is not saved in any of the plugins okay uh, that is coming from the cookies and now I have removed the remember me I have unchecked the remember me so now uh, it must get removed from the cookies so let's see uh, once again I am going to click on logout and you can see it is gone away now the another entry has come up that is the earlier entries that is coming from the browser plugins but that remember me cookies is already deleted that admin one at the rate of admin.com is not coming anymore so our remember me functionality is working fine and you can also try this one at your end and let me know if you will face any issues okay and also please join as well as the subscribe the channel and you all, all already know that uh, youtube.com stack developers is the channel name please open this channel stack developers please subscribe for more laravel and mongodb updates and also join the channel if you want to get the complete source code so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye